Good day, TNT. My name is Keegan Jairam. I'm presently here with the Bull Flinches of Venezuela on display here in San Fernando, Trinidad and Tobago. Well, it is a uprising sport in the country. It's not, it's not new, but it's growing. The sport is becoming bigger and more exposed throughout, throughout the Caribbean and the world due to the fact that we, we, we mine bullfinches for their song and also their skill of competing. They are competition birds, they are show birds. You can, you can, you can see that we have them out here get in the morning sun they had already take the bath these are birds that they love to be on display always on display they love being in a crowd they love attention they always want someone to give them a walk so that they could perform the song better and better every day having these birds is a commitment having these birds is a job it's a daily activity a livelihood to many to many many people in our country and across the world they are very very entertaining very very good companions no complaints just beautiful songs at present here we have one black and four trainees brown ones the, that they just had the bat in the morning sun so now they would be going back into the classroom to finish the, the classes at this point here I have four juniors not for sale an adult in the making to enter the competitions that would be coming up very soon due to the corona a lot of the competitions has stopped because the, 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 the law enforced that no crowd, social distancing is in full effect. Due to that, most of the competitions have to, had to stop. Most of the, the important of the birds had to stop. So at present, Corona is the cause of most of the competitions coming to a halt but we hope and pray to God that Corona could come and over and we could get back to we bird shows I'm sure all bird men have something to add to this because it's, it, it's a very very big sport in the country at present and, even, and growing even bigger we want people to know that the birds are very special birds and we, we would like for the, the, the whole country and even the world to get familiarized with these birds and the competition that has been taking place. Everybody tend to see a bird in a cage and decide that it's wrong. Now these birds are cage birds. These birds have been in cage for centuries. So this is just a trend continuing. This is just a continuation of our old trend. And I fancy it because I love the way these birds sing. I love the way they perform. I love the way they, 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 they deal with me as well. We created our bond. We created our relationship. Like about three years ago, I started mining birds. And up to this point, I'm presently a bird owner. Trying to be a, a trainer or a teacher. And this is, this is my hobby. This is my livelihood, this is my sport. I don't just do this for fun, I do this for business as well, I do this for pleasure as well. A lot of bird men do the same. So I would just like the country and the world to know that we need more bird men and women and children. <laughs> we need the sport to get back in full effect. Because this is some people livelihood and likeness and we want to take it to another level in this country thanks again Trinidad and Tobago how did you acquire these birds 
Well, I went to the pet store like about three years ago and I was introduced to the bullfinch by one of the, the employees there and I took fancy of them due to the songs that they sing and how they display themselves and I decided that I wanted to mine bullfinch from that day on and I didn't have no regrets doing so because at present the sport is growing in our country and we need people to come out, come out, come out and support it. All birdmen will love the support of the rest of the country. Usually there's a competition on weekends in St. Madeleine. Have you ever participated in this? Yes, I, 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 I went to the competition a couple times. I never win because my bird's not at that level yet. But I try and to make a, a champion so that next time I enter the competition I could come home with a trophy to show that I'm able enough to compete. Is it is it a kind of event that the younger generation might might be just be interested in participating in? Well I wouldn't say the younger generation will take part a hundred percent because most times you find kids would rather a, a pet dog or a pet cat more other than a bullfinch. Now the attention and the time that a bullfinch would require, it's it not just like a normal pet you have home. These is birds you have to pay close attention to them, walk them. You might even in situations have to talk to them in order to get the, the, the finished result that you're looking for. And to get that result from a child, it might be mightn't be the result that you're looking for. So younger people tend to lean towards a other pet beside a cage bird. So you find well more the elders, more the older folks would tend to lean towards this sport. Where is your location now? Right now I'm presently located at 9 Henry Street San Fernando, the, the same in the same residence where you have the Kaisoka Moko Jumbies. Yes, I'm part of that family and these birds as well. These are some Moko Jumbi birds. <laughs> so the birds fly as a Moko Jumbi. Yeah. What do you do? <laughs> well, we, we carry them out on, on one, of the, one or two of the, the runs that we go to, one or two of the functions we carry them and we might hang them up and people who admire birds tend to follow the, the cage, the cage, the, the direction of the cage. More, more, sometimes you find you have the crowd going towards the cage, so they they they, they, they bring a, they, they draw a crowd. They tend to draw a crowd, no matter where there is. So we carry them on one or two of the runs as well. So any closing remarks? Well, I just want to say thank you for your time, everybody. Throughout Trinidad and Tobago and the world, bullfinch is on the rise. And we need, we need you all to take part in the competitions and support the bird fraternity. Again, thank you all for allowing me to have this time to explain just a little, just a little insight on the bullfinches and where they, 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 they came from and how they get here. Just like to say again, we want the sport to grow. We need the sport to grow. Thank you, sir. Thank you, thank you.